After eight years, a missing Houston man is found in what many are considering a miracle. Rudy Farias is back home today. Tonight, we know it was a good Samaritan who spotted Rudy. That person called 911 last Thursday after finding the young man unresponsive outside a Catholic church. As Anayeli Ruiz reports, many are now wondering how Rudy got there. Found alive after eight years, Rudy Farias has been missing since March of 2015. And thank God he's alive. I mean, this is one of them miracles that you don't experience very often. He was last seen near his home, and just last week he was found here outside this church. Tim Miller was one of the dozens of people that have been looking for Rudy from the get-go. We started out at, uh, at his house where he disappeared from, where he was walking his dogs, and I'll never forget finding his backpack out in this empty lot field and stuff. And Houston police tell us they did get a call from family members in September of 2018. They had spotted Rudy living behind a family member's home, but HPD did not find him and they could not provide the address for us. But after eight years, a miracle, a good Samaritan found him unresponsive outside this church. Neighbors say they saw when police showed up to the scene. There was a person that were trying to wake him up. They could HPD couldn't wake him up like he was completely out of it. But police confirmed it was Rudy in a statement. Rudy's mom said her son is now receiving the care he needs to overcome his trauma. She said he's currently nonverbal and is not able to communicate with them, but she will share more details as Rudy continues to heal. Rudy's family is excited, excited. I mean, they are over the moon. They're excited. But they're also worried, you know, Rudy's not doing well. In pictures released by the family, you could see Rudy has cuts and bruises on his body. As you can imagine, the family is waiting for Rudy to heal. We're hoping that young man makes a successful recovery. That was on Ayeli reporting tonight. Investigators say they do plan to speak with his family on Wednesday.